saying, where's Jose, where's all that? So now that the moment is almost upon us, uh, how good are you feeling about unifying the belt? I feel great, you know. It's uh, It's been a long time coming, but uh, like I said, man, I I said it on Sports Center earlier today, you know, train to your idols become your rivals, and uh, I just wanted to fight, you know. This guy, he was over here and talking about how uh, when when a possible matchup, how he would rather have fought Pettis before me and Pettis fought because uh, Pettis is an easier fight and stuff. So it kind of pissed me off, rubbed me the wrong way, but uh, we're finally here, and I... I just can't wait, you know. I just can't wait to, to do the damn thing, get in there and, uh, and and fight, you know, fight one of the greatest of all time. You know, he's one he's one of the, the greats in our sport. But uh, like I said before, it's time for a new era. And um, June third, it's going to be a new era. Well, you kind of set up my next question was, what do you think of him as a fighter? Obviously, he was the reigning champion for such a long time, and I feel like it's hard for any fighter to not really appreciate what no. Jose has done. Yeah, you know, people be like, oh, you disrespecting this and that. I'm like, guys, you know, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm going to fight this guy. You know, I'm not disrespecting him. I'm using facts. I'm using his own words against him. And at the end of the day, I got to go in there and, 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 uh, and uh, perform, you know. So I'm not t talking crazy, saying this, making assumptions. Uh, everything I said is everything that he said. You know, I used them against him. You know, facts is the greatest. You know, you want to talk about facts. You want to talk about stats. Look at the featherweight division. You know, I hold almost every of them. If not, I'm on the top three in every record, whatever it is. You know, I'm I'm right there, and um, you know the, the stats, the facts, they all they all speak for themselves. You know, he, he's a great fighter. You know, you can't you can't take away anything away from that 13 seconds. You know, it is what it is. You get caught in this sport, and it happens. You know, so at the end of the day, you know he's a great fighter, but uh, June 3rd, I'm. I'm trying to be greater, you know? So the Jose you saw against Frankie at UFC 200, what kind of threats does that fighter present to you in this matchup? Ah, uh, you know, we see, you know? Like, we see, you know? You guys, uh, you guys you guys go look at the stats. You guys look at the way I fight. You guys look at the way he fight. You guys can tell me that. You guys tell me how you guys think it's going to end or, or what I can do because at the end of the day, I, I know what we got to do. I We got a plan. We got tricks up our sleeves. But, yeah, he's not, you know, he... He is what it is, you know. I, I I don't take too much time trying to break down and overthink my fights. We, we look, we get ready, and, you know, every single fight, you know. Name one of the last fights in my last ten fights where it was it was a fight, you know. It wasn't really, you know. I've been going out there, we've been dominating, you know, and that's what we want to do. I want to dominate, and this ain't no different, you know. I ain't, I ain't treating this fight no different, you know. The gold belt is nice. The belt is perfect, you know. Everybody getting belts nowadays. I don't only want the undisputed belt, I want the undisputed career, guys. The undisputed career. When it's all said and done, I want them to be like, my gosh, this guy is the greatest to done it. You know, I want, I want, you know, Demetrius got picture at 11, maybe 12, whatever it is. I want a picture like that with all my belts all over places and, 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 and whatever, all that cool pics. So that's what I want. I want to be one of the greatest, you know. Well, when people talk about Jose, obviously they talk about the kicks, and fighters often think they're ready for them until they actually feel them, and then uh -huh. they realize how, how intense they uh -huh. are. So, um, strategically, are, are you worried about that? Or switching stances an idea for you? Uh, you know what? I think I gave this fighting, you know? It, it, th th this is what it is, you know? They, 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 uh, they always say get ready for his leg kicks, you know? And, and, and he's telling me this and that, like... Like, uh, he's saying that I'm no different, or, or I didn't fight no caliber guys, whatever. Like like what you said perfect. It's not it's not the same to get in there with me. All these guys been telling me, you know, if nobody if, with the cub fight, nobody thought I had a standing chance. They're saying like take cub down. I was like, guys, I'm a striker. I, what, what are you guys talking about? I never shot in my life. I don't I don't know if I did. I don't remember it, but I never shot in my life in that fight. So uh, uh, before that fight, so why would you guys tell me to take the guy down, you know? And then um with the Pettis fight, they thought so. He his kicks and his whatever boxing was gonna be too much, you know. And look how that fight planned out. At the end of the day, we're getting ready, you know. We're not. I'm not stupid, you know. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not. This game, these guys over here. I said it before. These guys over here playing checkers. I'm over here playing chess, you know. We're on a whole different level. There's levels to this to this thing, and uh, I just can't wait, you know. We're getting ready for it, you know. And like you said, we don't know. We don't know if I'm ready until June third, you know. June third. Buy the pay-per-view and tune in, and you guys can watch. You guys, you guys want to see if I'm ready? June in, uh, tune in June third. Do you think people have been underestimating you then, or, or do you feel that you get the respect that you feel like you deserve? I, you know, 
I've been the underdog my whole life, and I don't care. I'm not supposed to be here. Maxwell is not supposed to be talking to you, to you, or to any of you guys. I'm not supposed to be here. You know, so it is what it is. It's it has come to a point I don't even care. You know, action speaks louder than words, and. Uh, you know, I've been doing a lot of action, you know, there's all these hype trains on, on everybody. I just told them, you know, I, I just was telling somebody, I forget who it was, uh, on an interview, I think it was Damien, uh, not Damien Martin, but uh, Thomas, for UFC. And uh, he told, and I told he's like, what about the hype and this and that? I'm like, man, you know, like the whole hype thing about uh, uh, about about these guys coming out, like all the young guys, Sage and, and your rear. I'm like, guys, I'm 25 years old. I'm young as shit. What the hell is my height? What, what the hell? Jump on me, you know? Like what? I, my, I don't have a side comb, you know? I, I rock a fade. I guess I guess I need a side comb and I need some nice shoes and some glasses. I don't do that, you know? That's not me. I like dressing up when it comes when it comes time, you know? I got an awesome suit uh, suit guy that uh, Todd Goldsmith and he he always hooks it up for my suit. This next suit is gonna be nice for this fight, but but uh, you know. You know, I'm not flashy or whatever, but I, like I said, you know, action speaks louder than words. Anybody can talk, but you still gotta walk. You know, I'm making the walk. You know, I'm talking too, but nobody seems to be grabbing. But we see. You know, June 3rd is right around the corner, and uh, I just, I'm excited. I just can't, I just can't wait to do it. You know, it's been a long time coming. I, I just can't wait to fight. You know, I wanna. This is, this is what I really believe I was put on this earth to do. I believe I was put on this earth to fight, and uh, you know, June 3rd I get to. Go against one of the greatest, and we'll see what happens. Max, you're, uh, you're going into this with the uh, interim belt. I mean, are you treating this fight like it's your first title defense, or do you feel like you really need to beat Jose to solidify it? You know, like I said before, you know, the, the belt, the belt, the belt is a belt. It's cool to have. You know, I don't, you know, I, I, I like be calling champ. You know, I like when people see me like, hey, the champ in Hawaii and whatever. That's cool as shit. You know, to me, I think that's super sick. But the belt is a belt, and but it goes back to what I said, you know. I want the undisputed career, you know. At the end of the day, I, I the, the belt, it is what it is, but I want big pay, I want, you know, I want big big paydays, I want the stats, I want to make sure my son, my son is okay when he's going to college and stuff and our family is all good. And then, you know, it's just, it's a belt, it's a thing, you know. It, it, it is what it is, you know. I love the things that come with the belt, you know. If, the free food, the free dinners when you go sit down, you know, the, you know, people being nice to you and stuff. So it, it, it's it's awesome, you know. I love the belt, but this is just another fight, you know. I, I you can't you can't change anything dramatically now. Why am I gonna change anything? You know, it, it's always a why fix something that's not broken? You know, I, I add on to it. You know, it's great. So we're not trying to change anything. We're adding. I'm adding. You know, over here people is like, oh, I think I need to change this, this, this. No, I'm over here thinking I need to add. You know. You know, you know, everybody watches Fast and the Furious, you know, they don't try to change the engine, they just add NOS, you know? In, in your mind, what do you think you need to do to have that undisputed career you talk about? Uh, June 3rd is one of the steps, you know, I just got to keep winning, you know, winning and, 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 and stats and numbers and, 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 you know, title defenses and all this, all this stuff come into play, you know, I just, you got to keep winning, you know, keep showing the world why you, why you're the baddest man in the world, you know, on this planet, you know, so that's what I got to do is just, Keep winning. Max just said you've been an underdog your entire life. How has that prepared you for this moment, this biggest fight of your career? Uh, a lot, you know. It's like, you know, I, 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 I knew at a young age to, to just accept the fact that, that people don't owe you nothing, you know. A lot of people go out to as well, like, oh, the world owes me something, this person owes me something, you do something nice for them, now they owe me something. No, you know, like, Nobody owes you shit, you know, in this life. That's that, and that's that's real. That's one hundred percent. You know, it's if you want anything, go out there, work hard, and go get it. You know, don't don't think anybody owes you anything. Once you start thinking a mindset, I'm owed something. You're in the wrong mindset. You know, and and being an underdog was just like I just want to work everything. I don't want to say anything is given to me this and that. I want to work my ass off, and you know, my papa instilled that from a young age. I remember like uh, coming home from school. You know, gotta do your homework. Uh, uh, gotta do homework, then you can go play, do your chores. Uh, every Saturday, Sunday, he'd wake us up. We'd have to pull weeds and stuff first, and then we could go and play and stuff. So, it's it's whatever you want, something you gotta work hard, you know, and, and go after it. Is that you still look at yourself as the underdog as you're about to face Aldo, or do you look at him as you're his equal? I, I I look at me like I'm the greatest, you know. That's that, and that, and 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 this this ain't this ain't cockiness. Everybody's like, oh man, this kid is so cocky, talks and blah blah blah. I'm like, this is confidence. You guys need to know the difference. 
you know, you know, cockiness is over here saying wild, wild make believe shit. You know, I'm saying facts and I'm saying real stuff. This is confidence. You know, if you guys don't have this confidence in whatever you do, you know, you're gonna suck. I, I'm, I'm sorry, but straight up, you're gonna, you're gonna suck at whatever you do. If you're not confident in what you're doing, then why do it? Anything I ever, I said it in the counter in the preview. You guys heard. I never ever wanted to be average in my life. Why? Who the hell wants to go to his life just making it by? I never ever want to make it by. I never did. I always wanted to be, I was playing high school baseball. I wanted to be the best damn guy on the field, you know? So off the field, I was making sure I was finishing my homework early, uh, early at, in recesses. So when I went to stuff, I didn't have to worry about going home after practice doing homework, you know? That's just the little stuff, you know? So it's like, I don't, I don't want to be average, you know? I, I, I you know, I, I look at him, he's a human being, I'm a human being. At the end of the day, we all we all bleed red, you know, that's the way regular Max thinks. You know, we all we all humans, you know. If somebody came in here and stabbed us all in the same spot, we're all gonna bleed out the just the same, you know. But at the end of the day, when you over here thinks uh uh thinking that you're gonna come in here and try to hurt me, you know, in the octagon and stuff, I think I'm greater, you know, I think I'm the best. When when it comes to fighting, I believe I'm the best fighter alive, walking this planet Earth. And if you don't have that confidence, Going into anything you do, whatever you do, a doctor or a reporter, then what the hell are you doing it for? You know why? 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 Why even? Why even try? You know, we've heard you say um, that you've had your eye on all this since you were 17. Mm -hmm. Can you just sort of put into perspective what it means for you to go from being a kid, seeing him, <laughs> and he was running the division, uh -huh. dominating, to now you're actually about to face this guy yeah. as, as, as a grown man? Yeah, you know it's uh, it's crazy. You know it's the truth. I was watching this at WEC, you know, and and uh, I said on Sports Center, uh, I don't know if I said it already, but you know, train to idols become your rivals, and uh, I'm I'm right here, you know. So I'm excited, you know, and it's it's just time, you know. Like I, like I said, it goes back to what I said. It's, it's time for a new era. This guy, you know, he's still a young guy, still yet, but he's. You gotta say a veteran, cause he started so young. You know, he started when I like pretty much started. You know, I I started seeing him when he was like. 20, 21 or 23, yeah, around there, yeah, in, in the WC, so, you know, it's just, I can't wait to fight, you know, it just, this guy, it's pretty crazy to think that that much year, was eight years, that he's staying at the top, so it's amazing, you know, it's amazing, I get to, I get to get the shot of, uh, at, at fighting a person in, uh, in Aldo, and I'm just ready for, I'm, I'm just grateful for the opportunity, and I just can't wait, uh, I can't wait to be in the same octagon with the guy, you know, and, uh, Show you guys what we've been working hard for for the last six, uh, six to eight weeks. What did seventeen-year-old Max think of Jose as you were watching him on, on TV? WBC? What do you remember thinking about him back then? I, I wanted to fight him. I just wanted that. That's what I, I wanted to fight. He was a. I thought he was a strike. I'm a kickboxer, and he was whooping everybody's ass in kickboxing with Muay Thai with the leg kicks. So I was like, damn, I want to kickbox this guy, you know? Or, or I wasn't really into MMA. We was practicing MMA a little bit, but I was saying like, man, I wanted to. I wanted to fight this guy, you know. Now the chance is here, 25 year old Max. I get to have the chance, you know. I'm curious what you think about how active you would be. One critique people do have of Jose is that he didn't fight often enough. So um, if you're able to become undisputed champ, how often would you like to fight? Ah, uh, you know, I, you know, you know, two to three times a year. You know, maybe, maybe squeeze in the fourth one. We see, we see how my body is, but. You know, I always fight four times, like, you know, on this 10 fight win streak, I think two years in a row, I fought four times. So it's like, or, or three, or three, four, four, three, you know, I want to fight, I want to stay that active, you know, and be three, you know, and, and the way you get money, you know, is you, you want to fight out your contract. You fight your contract, you, you, you do more fight, you fight your contract, you get bigger, bigger paydays. So, you know, at the end of the day, you know, for sure, I wanted to fight at least one. Uh, at least two to three times a year, at least, you know, and then we we'll see what happens, you know. But like you say, you know, the body, he was hurt and stuff, whatever. And you can't, you can't control that kind of stuff. But I want to defend at least two or three, uh, two or three times a year if, uh, if my body allows me to. I'm curious what you're thinking right now of the division two. Obviously, Frank Yeager just had an amazing fight uh -huh. against Yair Rodriguez. We know Cub is doing well. There's a lot of guys on that list that you've already fought. But if you are victorious, who do you expect would be your first defense? I, you know, if I win, I think I what would be it's a toss up. It's whoever, you know. I I always wanted to fight Frankie. You know, I wanted to fight Frankie on the two or five card. I was tripping out that they uh, they gave that fight to Stevens. You know, and uh, and uh, you know he's one of the guys I always wanted to fight too. He's on the top of, top of the list. You know, me and Cub, I'd I'd gladly like to do that rematch again. You know, he would he uh, he's he's uh, showing showing what's up. You know, ever since 
ever since our fight. So that's that would be a great fight. You know, we got Korean Zombie back in the mix. You know, Rico him and Ricardo is fighting. So that should be a fun fight. There's a bunch of fights that I want to fight. You know, like I said, I'm not, I'm not trying to run through the division and pick and choose these guys. You know, I'm I'm cleaning them out. You know, I want them. I want them all. I want them all. So. If when you go down the top ten list and it's time for another title defense, it'd be like, holy, sh who, the, who the hell are we fighting? You know, like like Demetrius. That's a good problem. It's a bad and good problem. You know, he's cleaning out. You know, I want to be Mr. Clean Out, so that's what I want to do. I can't remember I asked you before, but do you appreciate the, that last moment with Ricardo Lamas as much as everybody else does? Like, do you oh, understand yeah. how iconic that is now? Yeah, you know, it was funny. We, I just did an interview on the way, and the, the, the guy was saying, like, how come the Holloway didn't trend, didn't get picked up in uh, at middle schools and stuff, you know, with the fidget spinners? I was yeah. like, I was like, I don't know, man. I question myself, too. I was like, I probably in wine I picks up, and you go home with a black eye, you know. I don't think so, but, yeah, you know, that... That was fun, you know, that was cool, you know, they made, they made, they forever immortalized me in the game and only my guy can do it, so, I, that was great, you know, that was just, uh, you just, sometimes you just gotta live in the moment, you know, I left, I lived in the moment for that and paid off. <laughs> Back since we were talking about the division, I mean, does it, is Connor even part of the mix anymore, or do you feel like the division's kind of moved on without him at this point? Yeah, you know, like, at the end of the day, you know, people keep talking about the belts and whatever and this and that and and uh, you know, you know, this guy's gonna fight. They're saying that he can fight um, uh, Floyd. He's getting ready for Floyd or whatever. And I think the division has moved on. You know, this whole Floyd Mayweather talk and him making fifty mil, seventy five mil, whatever the talk is. Like, would you guys come back to MMA after a fight like that? Like, you know, like this guy, you know. Connor should be proud, you know. Everybody tells us, oh, he's a champ, blah, blah, blah. Like, he should be proud, you know. Connor was a champ, you know. He should hold his belt, he should hold his belt up high and, and proud, you know. And at the end of the day, he's the 2015 champ, you know. This is two years later already. And he never ever once talked about defending the 45 belt ever. Not ever. He not ever once talked about it. He talked about defending the 55 belt more than the 45 belt, you know. It's time to move on from this chapter in life already, guys, you know. <laughs> at, 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 the, at the end of the day, um, we're not gonna tell LeBron, hey LeBron, you can't show you three rings. That was three years, you know. No, no, be proud. You won it that time, but then you gotta play again to to keep holding this title championship, and he's not doing it, you know. And 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 and, and fair play to him, you know. He's a uh, he he's he's not that type of guy, you know. He's just not that type of guy. He's always looking over the fence and oh, looking for better stuff, and you know. We're grateful for the fans he bring in and whatever. But at the end of the day, you know, his fans love him for that. They're always looking for the next big thing, you know. Well, my fans, they love me because they know I want to be a, a king and they want me to see the conquer and they want me to see defend, you know. They want to defend my, defend my throne and, and keep doing it. And that's just not what he is, you know. It's just, that's his life, you know. That's his life. That's the way it goes on. I think people need to, like, just move on from that already. And especially for the 45, you know, this guy, if he gladly wants to come back after this fight, you know, it's... Dan White knows my number, he knows the number, you know, you can get it done, but at the end of the day, after getting so many meals like that, I, 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 you'd figure the thing if he ever gonna fight again, you know, so you guys, ask you guys self that, you know, so. Yeah. so you talked about uh, how active you want to be, how active you've been over the last few years, uh, do you think that helps you treat this more like any other fight, like you don't have to get too up for anything, if you're, if you're used to making that work and getting there? Oh yeah, for sure, you know, um. That's why I like staying active, you know, it makes me, it makes me stay in the gym, you know, give, uh, it makes me stay in the gym more, you know, it, make, it makes you learn, and I always wanted to be ahead of the game, you know, this, this is a learning curve, you know, uh, uh, it's coming to a point where it's, uh, this game is, like, just turning, and you're seeing crazy martial arts coming out of nowhere now, and this and that, so, yeah, man, you know, I, I definitely, I think so, uh, helping, me, there's pros and cons to it, you know, it might, highly chance of getting hurt and then and not and then there's pros and cons to only fighting once or, or once or twice a year you know so uh, you know I, I i'm that guy that like to stay active like to stay you know like and they and they only remember your last fight anyway so the more times you fight the, you know the more famous you get and the more helpful that becomes how much of an impact has your career had on the scene in hawaii in terms of other fighters and have you noticed that you've started to um 
you know, get more guys involved? I mean, obviously, EJ, and there's a lot of history there, but, but have you seen things kind of growing? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's been huge. It's been huge. I, MMA Hawaii always been big, but now it's getting bigger again, you know, and then... And then we got a bunch of Hawaiian guys in the UFC. You know, I got my boy Yancey Madaris. He's fighting Eric Silva on the card. You know, he's opening up the pay-per-view card. Did not miss that fight. And um, it, it's just big. We got a bunch of guys here, you know. And, and, and just like uh, the media outlet there been covering a lot of MMA now. Like, uh, like, like the news stations. Like, I just like... I've been having grandmas and grandpas come up to me like at, at like when we're when I'm flying or whatever and like they come up to me crying telling me thank you for what I'm doing. I'm like, guys, this is amazing, you know. Like a lot of my fans in Hawaii is probably old people because they watch the news, you know. So yeah, they come, they cry to me, they cry on me. I'm like, I don't know what to do. I'm in shock, you know. So it, it, it's great to see. It's definitely getting bigger, and uh, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully after all said and done, everything goes my way. We get a UFC Hawaii, you know. It's, our fans is waiting for it. We want it. Let's let's go Dana White. Let's go media. Keep hashtag UFC Hawaii and uh, let's enjoy our beautiful sun out there. You know, this is a little off topic from your fight, obviously, but um, you know, I know you grew up in a place where uh, tough streets and things like yeah. that. I'm just curious what your take is on what happened between Chris Cyborg and Angela Magana. Uh -huh. um, did you hear about that? Yeah, 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 that yeah, Situation, yeah. obviously, right. So, what, what's your take on that? Because uh, uh, people seem to come down pretty hard on one side or the other. Yeah, you know it's. At the end of the day, if you're gonna talk shit on Twitter, you know, and you're gonna see the press here, like, you gotta think you, something's gonna happen, you know, and then, and then when someone gets in your face that close, you know, and whatever, it's just like, you know, you need to be fight ready. I don't know. I would, but then even like with the with the police stuff and whatever, like you know, it, it happened. You know, I, I, the way it was handled, I would have been like, you know, no, she didn't hit me. I would have just said it, you know, she didn't hit me, you know. Like, it's a fighter thing, you know. Like, I was talking all this shit on Twitter. You know, you, you got punched in the face. You should have punched me back. Or I'm going to punch you back, you know. Like, boom, boom, you know. It's going to be fast. We're going to fight. And it is what it is, you know. It's like, what do you expect, you know. You got you got a bunch of fighters that talk shit, harass each other, you know. You put some alcohol on them or... You see, so or you get a friend that's with him, that's hyping him up and telling him, you know, you know, let that guy talk shit to you like that. You know, it's like who knows? Somebody might have been in cyborg gear. You know, cyborg's not even like that. But one of her friends is like, oh, see, Angela. Was, so she kind of feels like I gotta do something now. You know, so she goes and do it. So, yeah, I think I, I think it's just I, I think it's just uh, the whole way to handle whatever. UFC got this nice new facility. They should just went inside. I would have told him like. I would have just told Cyborg, like, if I was Cyborg, I would have just told her, we got this new facility that they're checking us. They got a ring in there. Let's put on 16-ounce gloves and try and take each other's head off, you know, and then shake hands and go on our way. So, yeah, that's what I would have done.